everybody. Welcome back to the show. This is Rich in the Philippines on the Philippine Info Channel. Steve has the day off and I'll be filling in for him. First off, I wanted to say thank you to everybody who had positive input on my last video, who had the same type of experiences that I did, and that's positive. They weren't inundated with scammers and um, they aren't hiding underneath the bed um, in, in fear over scammers and you have to live your life here. It's, it's a beautiful place, ups and downs. However, it's, we're having the time of our life. Today's show, we're gonna talk about something a little different. We're getting back to the basics. Today's show, we're gonna talk about apps on your phone. These apps can make your life so much easier. And some of them I would think would be, you know, no brainers and would be, you know, I w wouldn't even have to repeat it However, Steve and I have met a lot of people who have come here who just haven't prepared, which is really interesting because they've watched some of the shows, but they just show up and, you know, aren't ready. And, and I get it. This is really, um, it's kind of a complex situation just to get off a plane and start your life new. Exciting, but complex. So let's get right into the beef of what we're talking about. These are apps that you should download before you come here. Steve and I have talked about this a bunch of times. The first app, again, shouldn't have to be telling you this, is Your Bank. You should download and use Your Bank app before you get here. And I suggest you have two. You have one big bank um, that's all throughout America and maybe your small town bank. That's how I've done it. I have two, um, and I suggest you do the same. I use them both when I was in America. I set them up both in America. I talked to um, the employees, let them know I'd be traveling the world, and let them know that I may show up in different countries and that I'm not, you know, please keep an eye on it, but I'm going to be traveling. So that's number one is your banks. Number two, and Steve and I have also had interesting conversations about this one, your VPN. I set up a VPN and used it before I left. I want to say three months before I left, I set up a, a strong VPN and put it on all my computers except for my older Apple because my older Apple is just cranky. So I set it up, used it. It's very inexpensive and it has saved my back more than once. I use NORAD. I think it's about four dollars, I, I believe four dollars um, a month. Now this is where Steve and I have a little bit of a disagreement because some banks take it, some banks don't. I know that people like uh, American Express, I don't believe take it, which is fine. I don't want, really want to use them. And, and other banks use it but in a, in a limited way. However, if you want to use any kind of streaming service, a VPN is very much helpful. Um, banks, credit cards, other places, some of them use it, some of them don't. I suggest you get the VPN, set it up, try it in the States, and make sure that it works. So that's two. Number three, um, this is important one too, and I've seen it all over Facebook, and that's Magic Jack, the Magic app. Again, not very expensive. I just used it. 10 minutes ago, I was calling um, a service provider, a healthcare company in America. You know, the call was crystal clear. It stayed on the line. It worked wonderful. I talked to my family, you know, every other day or every third day, whatever, on a magic jack. It's just a great little tool that goes across the VPN and, and you can stay in touch that way. Again, some credit cards will use it. Some will not let you and you have to come up with a plan B if they don't. So that's your bank, your banks, your VPN, and Magic Jack. The fourth one, and Steve brought this to my attention because I had absolutely forgotten about it, and that is Western Union. Western Union is a great app. I loaded it up in America. I don't believe I used it in America. I, I was using World Remit for a while and then had a credit card issue with them, and then I went to Western Union. Western Union called me and literally did an interview with me. 
I think that it lasted maybe 10, 15 minutes. It, it, it was a long call. And he went over a ton of issues. He actually knew I was on a VPN. And he actually wanted to know where the VPN was going through, which, of course, I know all about where my VPNs are going through because I've been using them for a while and I use them in America. And so I told him and he, and he said, okay, okay, I understand. And I've been using Western Union. I think Steve does and other expats do also. It's a great way to do bank account to bank account, family to family, um, or to yourself. And I think that somebody brought it to my attention, again, Steve probably, that you could literally send money to yourself, which is what a lot of people do. And it's a, just a great asset. So again, uh, your banks, your VPN, your Magic Jack, and Western Union. Now we get into the apps that you download here. And again, I'd be interested in your feedback. And again, Steve and I have different feelings on this. I love the apps that I've downloaded here for the most part. Are they glitchy? Yes. Or as my friends would say, my God, yes. Uh, and the first one being Gcash. I think there's Maya. I haven't used Maya, but I use Gcash. And Gcash was a little difficult to work in the beginning. You have to get a Philippine phone number if you're going to live here. It's just that simple. I recommend it. Whether it's Smart or Globe, um, you need a phone number here. And that's how you get Gcash. Gcash, folks, allows you to pay your water bill. It allows you to pay your Wi-Fi. Um, it allows you to send money to friends here. It's a huge help. And yeah, it can be a pain in the butt sometimes. And it is glitchy. However, I don't know what isn't glitchy anywhere in the world. Whether it's your AT&T, whether it's Infinity, there's going to be some glitches. But Gcash, um, I really like it. And I use it. I don't use it to pay restaurant bills. Again, I use it to pay... If you've waited in line for 40 minutes to pay a $10 water bill in two different queues, you'll discover the beauty of Gcash. It's paid. Wi-Fi, paid. Also, it leads me to my next app, and that's Grab. I personally like Grab a lot. Um, if you've been taken for a ride in Manila, getting your visa for, or from the airport in a taxi, you'll appreciate Grab. Grab is a great way to get around. Um, the challenge with Grab sometimes, though, is during the holidays, which we have coming up, is, is that they're super busy, and it's sometimes hard to get a Grab. However, you can do what I call the anti-Grab, and that's where you get a Grab price, and you go to a taxi driver, and you say, hey, Poe, um, Grab price is 400 pesos. Well, the Grab price was actually 350. You say, it's 400 pesos. Can you do that for that? He's like, no, I won't do it for 350, but I'll do it for 400. There you are. You have the grab price. There's actually now grab taxis. I really like grab a lot, and I use it a lot when I'm traveling, which leads me to the other part of grab is, is that um, a lot of people, including Steve, I think gets, they get food from it. I've never, ever gotten food from a food panda. Never done that at all. Um, a lot of people do. I just don't do it. But Grab will allow you to do that. Grab also, oddly enough, lets you pay phone load, I believe, as does Gcash, which leads me to my next app, and that's your phone app, whether it's Smart or Globe. It lets you track your usage. It lets you um, pay for promos. And I'm here to tell you that, you know, coming from AT&T, where my bill was... At a minimum, I think 90 or, true, I was using it for business, 90 or $120 a month, month in, month out, which I thought was ridiculous. Here, I'm, I can think I can get by with maybe 20, 30 bucks, and that's high on the phone. And that allows you, you know, to surf, Facebook, YouTube, more importantly enough is for phone calls in Texas. So you have to be able to have that ability here to text your friends. Wrapping up, that's your banks, that's VPN, that's Magic Jack, Western Union, 
that's in America. Get those done there. And then here is Grab and Gcash and your phone. I would be interested and really like to hear what you think. What have you had success with here? It really, I think, makes your life easier here in the Philippines. With that being said, salamat po. Thanks for listening. Thanks for joining us. And we'll see you next time.